There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. All right. So what is the goal with Dragon Maids? It is similar to the decks I teach you. This deck has a common road we travel down. So I'm going to look up a Dragon Maid, and then we're just gonna grab the deck type breakdown, just like this. The goal with this deck turn one, for me, I believe this is the best way to play the deck, is to either summon a Heavenly Spheres, or summon a Dragon Maid Shio. That's the common goal. How do you summon both of them? This one is easy. All you need is two dragons on the field. And you could do that with one card combos. You could one card parlor. You could one card chamber. You could one card black metal dragon, which I don't see right here. Some people are taking out the black metal dragon. You could play black metal dragon. I'm playing two of them. So these are all one card combos to have a turn one heavenly spheres. And I could teach you that by, we'll look through the gameplay, okay? I'm upstarting right now. This is a very early list. I wasn't using this. So this is a one card combo. If you want, you could summon the parlor, send the tidying from the deck to the graveyard. That's gonna be your main card you send to the grave with parlor. Parlor sends a card from the deck to the grave. And the chamber adds a card from the deck to the hand. Those are the two differences. These are the main two dragon maids. Now, the kitchen will also send a card from the deck to the grave, but it will only send a monster. The parlor could send spell and traps, and we want the tidying in the graveyard because whenever we want, we could special summon a dragon maid from the hand or graveyard. So this is very good on the fields to return a card in the field back to the hand or in the graveyard to summon a monster from the hand or the grave. It's like a quick effect monster reborn, but also someone from your hand. The downside is it is a hard once per turn and you could have to summon the monster in defense. So if I wanted, I could then summon Striker Dragon over the Parlor, which you should not do here. But for one card combo, if I summon Striker Dragon over Parlor, I could use the Tidying to then summon the Parlor that sent it to then make the Heavenly Spheres. And that will be the play to disrupt your opponent. You could tribute this during your opponent's turn, return a face-up card in the field back into the deck, or I should say the hand, the hand. And what's really good is if you do this at the start of the battle phase, then you get to activate all your dragon made effects at the start of the battle phase to summon big dragons on the field. So let's watch that. I have two dragons, so my goal is gonna be to, wow, that was such a bad negate. I don't even care about this. That was horrible. She's good for baiting the gates. And we're making heavenly spheres. Nice. Passing. Now I'm going to teach you some ruling knowledge right here. Knowledge. Knowledge. I've never seen this card before in my life, but I read it. I just read it. I read that it says, destroy as many possible monsters on the fields, then special summon and attack position two kaijus on each side of the field. So by reading this, I deduce that the word then, the word then means that before the then must happen. If it says then, it has to do the first part to do the second part. And what does it have to do before the then? It has to destroy monsters on the fields. So if you don't destroy my monster on the field, you don't get to do everything after then. It would have to say also special summon monsters or and. So it would have to, eat, if it said also, it would be in sequence. If it said and, it would be doing it at the same time. If it says then, it has to be fulfilling the first part to do the second part. So I'm just gonna get rid of my own Heretic Seal. I'm gonna get rid of it. Now, I can't Heretic Seal tribute itself because there's no face-up card to return. Why can't I return this? Because this card is marked for destruction after activating, it's not possible to return it back to the hand. So I'm gonna return my own Heavenly Seal back to my hand, negating that effect. I don't know if it was worth negating, but it's my first time seeing it, and I was like, hey, let's go, let's counter it. Hospitality is so good. It, with Chamber, Chamber is all about searching. You summon Chamber to search for hospitality. You summon Parlor to send the tidying. 
Now they both could search the fusion spell, but their specialty is trap with parlor and chamber with the spell, the hospitality. Now hospitality will summon a dragon maid from the hand or graveyard, then send a big dragon from your deck to the grave. So let's do that. I'm going to summon the parlor. Parlor is going to send the trap. That's her specialty. And then I'm also going to send a big dragon. Well, the big dragon I would have sent would have been the green one, but I already sent it. So if we didn't have it, it would have been sent. Now at the start of the battle phase, she's going to activate to summon the big dragon from the graveyard. But with my toggle on, I'm going to summon another dragon made at the start of the battle phase because that's where they activate to summon big dragons. Well, She's feeling lonely in the kitchen. She needs a big dragon to summon. We, who's going to be the big dragon to summon? We're going to grab the red dragon and send it to the graveyard. She sends monsters to the grave. She sends the trap to the grave. So let's give her a nice big dragon to turn into, right? She turns into it. Give me the red dragon. Send the red dragon. Summon the big Ds. Let's go. Start the battle phase during either player's turn, by the way. Threatening roar. That's not really threatening. I can't declare an attack now. Hey, we got the big dragons. Now, I'm going to... One of the main goals of the deck is to make Heavenly Spheres or the Fusion Dragon. I did not use my normal summon. I'm not sure why I didn't summon. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. I should have summoned. But their effects were our once per turn. Adding a kaiju? Whatever, mate. Whatever, mate. Oh, and I'm gone. But guess what you did? You tributed my monster, you fool. By tributing the Heavenly Spheres, either through its own effect or from you, it activates. It's time to summon my chamber. Chamber is going to search for the Dragon Maid spell, Hospitality. That's going to be its main purpose. Now, this is where you need your toggle on to do a bunch of plays to summon within the start of the battle phase to summon your big dragons. Come forth, big dragon. If I want, I could do use the tidying in the graveyard if I have one. I didn't have one. I'm just going to return it back with the tidying that's now in the graveyard. Main phase two, resummon. That's fine. Hey, I got the fusion spell, which I could search with the parlor or the chamber. They both could search this. And to s use the fusion spell, you need a big dragon plus a dragon made to make the Omni Negate. Or you could use two little dragon maids to make the house dragon maid. I'm going to add a nurse because nurse could summon a dragon maid from the graveyard. She's very good for combos. I'm going to fusion Shokan, get some dragon maids in the graveyard so that my nurse can summon them. Shiyu is here. Omni negate, negate anything. Dragon maid hospitality, summon the nurse, nurse summon the chamber. Chamber can now search for another hospitality for a follow-up or a tidying if I want to set it. I, I took this out. I took this out. I don't even want to talk about this. Now, this card is good for helping you summon a, an access code. This is going to use two level four Lord Dragons, then summon a big dragon from the graveyard. It, it's just helping you rank up into an access code talker. Uh, I don't like downtime as much. But uh, I, since the chat's going, huh, what the heck? Uh, a lot of people do, but uh, some people don't. 36% don't play it. I feel like I don't have room for it, but you could play it. I'm not telling you to not play it. So if you go to the Discord of Master Duel and say, DK said to not play this, you're a damn liar, because I did not say that. And you're blocked. All right, Unicorn, we're just ranking up. Ranking up into Axis. Every deck uses Axis code. Come on, enter the code, left, right, A, B. Wipe out the fool, we got Omni Negates. This is the way. Tiding special summon, we don't even need this. We're just doing this for the lulls. For the lulls, I'm gonna do, how about another Omni Dragon? How about double, but it's a hard once per turn to gate. That's okay, mate. I'm gonna summon another one. Another one. Look at this. Holy mo- Look at this fool. Negate anything from the hand if you have something. And big clappage. Big clappage. Let's watch another duel and I'll show you the deck list. So what are we going to do? I'm going to add a parlor and then I'm going to use the hospitality to summon it. 
Come forth, parlor. Dumping a big dragon from the deck. Parlor, send a tidying. So now I have lots of options. Tidying is an extension, search. Holy crap, you negated my search for the fusion spell. How freaking dare you? I can't believe you held this infinite impermanence for so long. What the heck? This is supposed to bait out fools. Freaking negated my insane play. Whatever, mate. Whatever. Whatever. Fine. I just won't do it. So I'm going to make my heavenly spheres. And what exactly did we accomplish here? Goes back to the hand. I, I do think we probably should have used her for the heavenly spheres because the tiding does return back to the hand. But beyond that, we have the ability to double return a card on the field back to the hand, plus summon a dragon made from the deck, and you do need your toggle on to do it at the start of the battle phase to then summon your big dragons from the grave, okay? I don't know. Uh, what is this? Uh, add a card? Sure. What the heck? I don't know how to play this deck yet. We're going to learn it. We're going to learn it. Uh, Ignister, you're sure. Add more cards, whatever. That's fine. I'm not going to use my Heavenly Spheres. Nope, I'm actually going to use it. Return it. Summon the Nurse. You always want to summon Nurse if you have a Dragon Maid in the graveyard to summon. That's good, like the Parlor, okay? Nurse is the priority if you have a card to summon from the grave. Because on Summon, she just summons another Maid. Two Maids are better than one. Parlor is going to send the tidying. She loves sending tidying, okay? Now, we can't use the tidying in the grave and the tidying at the field in the same turn, but we do have the option to, if we want to, to use one or the other. Didn't enter the battle phase, so I couldn't summon my big dragons. So I'm gonna summon this. I'm gonna search my fusion spell as I planned to do, but you stopped me. I could resummon her to then grab the Dragon Maid housekeeping, the Dragon Maid spell to summon from the hand or the grave. Did not use my normal summon yet. This is going to help us make an Axis Code Talker. That's pretty much what it does. You're just going to summon a big dragon from the grave. It's going to help link up. Dragon Maid Chamber grabbing the hospitality. This is a free special summon. If we want to summon the nurse with this to summon nurse and another, another one. So we're going to fusion spell into the Shiyu. So I needed a big dragon to make the Shiyu, and this one dug it up from the grave. Instead of having to go to the battle phase to grab it, this was good. Great. Another use of this card to either go into Axis Code or help you make the Shiyu. Hospitality, summon the nurse. Nurse is always the priority, generally, to then activate to summon another one from the grave. Now, this is going to be good for getting a big dragon in the grave. Where's my big red dragon? There you are. Get in the graveyard. Now, at the start of the battle phase, we're just going to be like, summon them all. Summon them all. Let's go. All the big dragons. Oh, yes. Another one. Another one. Another one. Big. Big. Flames all over the place. Negate anything with the Shiyu. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, why did I do this? Uh, cut. Cut. I did not do. No. I did not do that for BM. I'm not a jerk. Konami, it slipped. I slipped. It was a slip. No! No, I did not boost up that one! What, I, what you didn't really see in the gameplay is the big dragons have the effect to summon a... to activate from the hand. The pink one could summon a dragon made from your hand during your opponent's turn or your turn. The red one could boost up a dragon made by a 2,000 attack. And the green one is only activatable on your turn. You could discard it to target a face-up monster and negate it. Get negating. I like Pot of P to dig for my combo pieces to make sure I have my turn one Heavenly Seal, the Heretic Seal, or my Shiyu for uh, negating. Now, you also didn't see Shiyu during the standby phase. Activate to summon a Dragon Maid from the grave, which then could trigger that Dragon Maid for more plays. You also didn't see the power of the house dragon maid, which you'll see in my live gameplay, as I'm going to be happy to make more videos with this. This is not once per turn. Every time you return a dragon maid back to the hand, pop a monster on the field. So at the start of the battle phase with multiple dragon maids, they're all going to activate one by one, and you're going to pop one by one. But are they going to be foolish enough to enter the battle phase when you have multiple dragon maids plus a house dragon maid? Yes, they will. And you're going to pop everything. Pop, 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 pop. As you return all the dragon maids back to the hand to some of the big ones. 
And what else is good here? Remember that the chamber loves to search the hospitality. The parlor loves to send the tidying. Can the chamber search tidying? Sure, it could. It, it could be a good disruptive play. Can the parlor send the hospitality? No, don't be a fool. You don't do that. Do not do that. The parlor and the chamber could both search for the fusion spell. The fusion spell, I see a lot of Dragon Maid players miss this small detail. They're so focused on if they don't have a big meaty dragon in their hand that they can't summon the Shiyu. But they can. What? How? Chamber, search fusion, fusion, make house Dragon Maid, fusion, return another Dragon Maid on the field back to the hand, then use the changeover using the house Dragon Maid and the Dragon Maid you return back to the hand to make the Shio. No big dragon needed because you made the big dragon, then you added the fusion spell back to then make the even bigger and better dragon for the negate. And that's great. And then the Shiyu could summon level nine or lower Dragon Maid from your hand or graveyard during the standby phase, which you could summon the house Dragon Maid. Holy crap, nuts. Generally, the Shiyu will summon a parlor during your pawn's turn. And the black metal is cool because you summon it, then you link into the striker dragon, then that searches for the red eyes black metal, darkness metal, then you banish the striker dragon to summon the red eyes darkness metal, then red eyes darkness metal could special summon a parlor from the hand, then parlor could send tidying, then parlor and the red eyes is gonna make a heavenly spheres. It's nuts, it's crazy. This deck's a lot of fun. It beats skill drain. You already saw that in my Eldritch video, if not watch it. Skill Drain, this deck doesn't care because if you make Heavenly Spheres, you're going to return the Skill Drain back to the hand and then activate all your Dragon Maids during your opponent's turn. It's actually insane. And you need to trick your opponent with your Toggle On. If your opponent sees Dragon Maids on the field and they read them, they're not going to enter the battle phase. They're not. But if they see a zero attack Heavenly Sphere, they're going to enter the battle phase. And that's with your Toggle On, which you saw in my other video about this. You need to, with your toggle on, at the start of the battle phase, activate the he heavenly spheres. Do not activate it on an attack. That's a big mistake. I'm losing my voice right now. I'm dying. On the start of the battle phase, that's when you summon your maid onto the field. You'll want to summon your nurse if you have another dragon man in the graveyard. Otherwise, you could summon your parlor to send a tidying or summon the chamber to then search for a hospitality follow-up. And then at the start of the battle phase, they're going to summon a big meaty dragon from your hand or graveyard. It's going to be great. That's how you trick them. If you don't toggle on with this deck, you are playing incorrectly, objectively. It comes up in most duels. This is not a little cool little tip. It's a big tip. It's the giant tip. It's the whole tip, okay? You need toggle on to use the Heretic Seal of Heavenly Spheres in the start of the battle phase, okay? And then, yeah, if I want to cut this down to be as free to play as possible, let's do that for you. This is as basic as I'll go. You, you also, you know, you don't need this, okay? You don't need that. You don't need this, uh, as many of that. Uh, I, I do like the three of the dragons. You, you do, obviously, you don't need the Nocto Visions. You could drop that, but I'm not going any more basic than this. So that is three Ultra Rares in the extra. None in the main deck. So this is free-to-play friendly. Are there more optimal ways to do the extra deck? You betcha. Here you go. This is how the ratios people are using it. And you don't need Boral or Axis Code or the Nightmare Unicorn. So I gave you the free to play. I gave you the guide. That's it. And thank you very much. Goodbye.